Today I'm going to show you how to create a example commuting shortcut that you might use during which you actually track your time. This is going to be demonstrated on the iPhone mostly because the toggle app on the iPad is not optimized at all and it looks pretty darn terrible. So to start with this is an empty shortcut. We need to start at the very beginning so we need to be able to start and stop depending on what we're doing. What do we need to do to start with? We need to make a choice. And in this case, we're going to use a menu. In this case, the menu is just going to provide us with a name. It's not going to actually provide us with any output. And that means that we can do stopping and starting. And you can rearrange these options as you like. Now to start with, when we want to start our commuting timer, now to find the toggle timers that are donated to Siri, you can actually scroll down and then you should be able to find toggle. And as you can see, I've got a few different ones here. Not that many, they get donated when you use them. So if you're looking for one and it's not here, close out of this, go to toggle, run a timer, stop the timer and delete the time entry if you want to, and then come back, open the search and shortcuts again and it should be there. So, as you can see here, we have start timer for commuting. So this is the first action that we want, and I'm going to put that inside of the start. Now, show when run means that when I run it, if I choose the start option, it's going to actually pop up a little option. Now, in my case, I don't want that. So that's all I need there. Now, when we stop, I want to be able to stop the currently running shortcut. Now, in this case, it would be really useful to be able to see how long I've spent commuting so that when I then run the stop section, I can see I was commuting for, in this case, 23 seconds. Now, this is a pretty boring shortcut. You could just open the shortcuts app, and uh, the toggle app, and do this yourself. So let's make it a little more interesting. Uh, I am going to start by playing my most recent podcast in Overcast. And that one is going to go here. Again, toggling off show and run. I just want that to happen. And then I am going to open maps. And I am going to get directions to... I need an address to get directions to. Work, which is going to be 1 Apple Way Cupertino. California 95014 I wish and I'll be driving there it might take me a little while to get there from Austria but it'll be fine now I have all of this here and what happens then when I run the shortcut to start my commute it will start my commute it will start playing my most recent podcast in overcast and it's going to try and get me directions it's going to struggle there's a lot of ocean between me and California. I'm sure one day Apple will figure that out. Good. Now, what about when I'm coming home? When I'm coming home from work, I like to listen to some music to relax. So I'm just going to find some music. And this, you can add any kind of filters that you like. So for example, you might want to specify that it is something with a nice high rating. Um, and let's just say four. Uh, greater than or equal to. So anything that's got more than or equal to four stars. And then I'm going to play that music that I have just found. I will shuffle and I don't want any repeating. Thank you very much. Um, so that's after I've got out of the car on the way home. And then what I might want to do as well is I'm going to run the beach wave scenes on the lovely new nano leaf that I have. So I have some nano leaf light panels. And then when I come home, what's it going to do? Let's try that. So I'm going to say stop. I'm stopping commuting. I can see I've been commuting for one hour and 14 seconds. I'm going to find that music play that music, which might take a little while, and then it's going to set my home kit scene. And that is how you can integrate shortcuts to track your time into other shortcuts that may be useful for you as well. So for example, playing your overcast playlist and getting a, an address and directions to it is probably going to be useful, as would finding music, playing it, and setting a home kit scene. 
And if you add timers into these as part of your regular shortcuts or other automations, then that makes it much easier. Thank you for watching.